and today I'm gonna to give you my top three health and fitness tips that you definitely should know if you're gonna start or if you, even if you're in a health and fitness journey. See, these are the things, these are the three things that I wish somebody told me rather than me stumbling upon them or finding them out freaking, you know, five years later. So in this video, I'm not gonna tell you what to eat and I'm not gonna tell you that you need to exercise. Those two things, you need to learn about nutrition and you need to learn about your body, okay? Super important. What I'm gonna talk to you about first, my number one is making sure your goals are right. Now, I can't stress it enough how hard it is for me to see all these young women and young men get so wrapped up in body image and that's all they care about. All they care about is how they look in that bikini. It's great motivation, don't get me wrong, and it should be one of the reasons that you're doing this. Because guess what? When you really tempted to eat that cupcake, guess what? You're not thinking about your bikini. <laughs> and that one reason isn't gonna hold you over. Your goal and your reason why as to, as to why you're doing all of this needs to be really, really strong. So I'm gonna, st I'm gonna start off by telling you there's over 60 psychological and physical benefits to eat, having a healthy diet and working out and exercising and making that a part of your lifestyle. Over 60. How many do you really focus on? Majority of people only focus on one when there's all this other opportunity and, and availability to focus on other ones. There are so, so, so many. So my, my challenge for you is to come up with a list of at least five different reasons that it'll motivate you. So for instance, we're in a setting that was a big motivation for me. I came here with my boyfriend uh, six years ago. I came here with Jordan and we were really fit in the beginning, but then after like a year, we got in like, you know, I gained 30 pounds, he gained a lot, <laughs> um, about 80 pounds. And we came here and it was one of the worst experiences. We didn't even enjoy being in nature because it was so taxing on our bodies and we couldn't do it. So a big motivation for me was to be able to come and hike with no problem and just be able to enjoy myself. So use things that you love as motivation for why you're doing this as well. You know, go and research the different things that'll make you feel good. All right, now, number two. Number one was simply to figure out your goals and make sure your goals are in line with the truth and they're accessible. Number two is find some people to freaking do it with. Make sure you find a coach. If you want me to be your free coach, you, the link is below. Uh, or, you know, find somebody who knows what they're talking about. If you just kind of like, <laughs> this is a little unfortunate. If you decide to go and be healthy with your best friend who's also very unhealthy, the likelihood of you two succeeding together is very unlikely because all it takes now, instead of one of you guys ne needing to fight temptation, now two of you guys need to fight temptation. Because what's gonna happen when your girlfriend says, girl, let's not work out today, let's go get some ice cream instead. You're gonna go get ice cream. You know it because now it's not, and then this happens with me and Jordan a lot too. You know, if I say I have a craving for something, he's like, I'm down. You know, you have this idea and you think that, you know, that person's gonna be able to talk you out of it, but you, now you're saying, okay, my friend needs to have more willpower than I do. So be sure that you find a coach that can help you out with that temptation, help you out with the mental aspect of it and be able to ask, answer questions for you. They find a coach and find some, but like not just a personal trainer or anything like that, find a coach who knows the, the psychological aspects of it too, or a place where you can go and be held accountable with other people. Um, I kind of stumbled upon that online. I was put into a group and I also was working out and did insanity with three other people. Um, so that was really great motivation. It really helped to stick to it. And that would be my second piece of advice. Um, and now for my third, my third biggest, this is my biggest, biggest, biggest piece of advice. Now please pay attention. Please pay attention. If you get nothing else out of this video, well, first of all, let's congratulate you because tip number three is educating yourself about a healthy lifestyle, educating yourself about your body, educating yourself about food and how your body works with different food, educating yourself about what happens during a workout. Did you know that when you do a workout, you're actually breaking down your muscles and your muscles don't get bigger during a workout. They actually get bigger when you refill your body and you feed it and you rebuild your muscles. You have to do that with food. Do you know how to do that? If you don't, you gotta go learn. You have to go figure it out and be okay. Don't wait. Listen, be okay with doing things wrong in the beginning. It's okay because I'm still happy 
Find people who have done it already. Ask them for their advice. But also know that every body is different. Every single person is different. Some people have gluten intolerances. Some people have sell shellfish intolerances. Not everybody can do it the same exact way. So find somebody who understands that. Find somebody who's willing to work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis and set you up with an exercise program too and set you up with that accountability that you need in the group. So I hope you, you would hit all three of those, all three of those things. So number one, making sure that your goals are really, really, not only realistic. So for instance, um, you know, when I first got into health and fitness, I thought I could be like, you know, like a, like a figure competitor, but hey y'all, I got a big, I got big hips. If you've ever seen my figure, I got big hips and big thighs. I was a softball and a volleyball player and a baseball player. Um, so that's just not in the cards for me. That's not my body type, but I'm okay with that. I've learned that it's not my body type and I can't look like everybody. That took education, um, which was number three. So number one, making sure your goals are in line with reality. Number two, making sure you have people around you who are gonna encourage you and push you past those times of temptation are gonna help teach you. And number three, go and do your research. Go and do your research. Don't just listen to societal fads, please. Don't just listen to societal fads. Find friends who are doing something or contact me. Do something about your health and fitness. Stop waiting, educate yourself. I love you guys so much. If you like this video and you found it helpful in any sort of way, please give it a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate you also sharing this video so that your friends can also get educated and maybe, hey, they'll reach out to you and say, let's do this together. All right, guys, I love you so much and I look forward to hearing from you. See you later.